back to my channel. I am taking you upstairs today and we are going to organize the girls linen closet. It's the closet by their room. It is a complete disaster. It kind of catches everything. Let me take these off so you can see me. It kind of catches everything that I don't know where to put stuff. So I have board games in there, bedding, all the stuff. So I'm so ready. I bought a bunch of containers, organizational tools and everything I needed to get that straightened out and situated. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It should be short and sweet, but we'll see what I get into. First, I wanna show you guys what it looks like now. I have a ton of everything everywhere and these are the things that I purchased, but I have so much crap literally shoved into this small linen closet. So I'm trying to utilize all the space I can. The first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out of the linen closet. I learned that from the means method. If you followed my uh, pantry organization video, I showed her tutorial on there, all the things that she said that you should do whenever you are organizing a pantry or a closet. So I'm gonna take everything out and make sure that I have a home for everything before I put it back in there. Frustrated. This is so first world problems, but I have these um, bins, like these bins right here, and Target like stacked them, and I cannot get them apart because they linked together. So I'm sitting here trying to get these unlinked. I'm like sweating, so irritated. But I took a break and started putting things in the closet. I've, I of course will wash these towels before guests use them, but for now. I'd rather keep them in there new. That way I can wash them right before they come so they smell really good. But I am making a dent in the closet. So these, this basket is holding the sheets for our guest bedroom and it has one pillowcase in there because I need to get another one of that one. And then this basket is holding sheets for Stevie's room. And then this cute little basket is holding washcloths and hand towels. I am so anxious to get these apart so I can put the comforters in there. Otherwise, this stuff doesn't belong in there, this stuff doesn't belong in there, this stuff doesn't belong in there, and none of that does either. Um, this I was going to try to consolidate into like an organizational medicine cabinet for the girls to keep on the top shelf and label them and all of that. And this thing is super tiny, so I'm going to have to return that and get a bigger size. But that was my plan for that. So we'll see.
yeah I tried to fit all of this medicine and definitely did not fit so I'm gonna have to get a bigger one but for now I'm gonna go through all of this disgustingness and clean it out at least so that it is organized and ready to go when I do get a new organizer okay so that is a trillion trillion times better there were so many things that didn't even need to be in there like pacifiers and expired medications so super pleased that I went through that to get that cleaned out, ready to go. I went ahead and organized this little bin. I did all of these washcloths that I had and then our spare hand soap, toothbrushes, lotion, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up here. I do wanna say, because this tub right here has medicine and this is their nebulizer, I am going to put a child lock on this closet door because I don't want them to have access to the cleaning products or to the medicine or whatever. And here is the final product. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. See y'all next time.